like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Love, hearts for the elephants, people. Like, like for, for the, the elephants. elephants. Hi everybody! Welcome to another Draw With Me Kids edition. Uh, we're on episode, what the heck now? I lost track! 27? 28? 28? And we're doing Elephant Appreciation Week this week on Draw With Me Kids. That's a great elephant! I love it! High five! What? Uh, I'm not even going to attempt it. Mine sounds rude. Anyway, uh, today we're going to draw a baby elephant, and uh, we hope that you guys are going to join us for a quick little draw with me session. It's going to be a shorter one again today, so about 30 minutes. So this one should be a fairly easy one to do. We have yeah, trivia. Have trivia. Yeah, we have trivia. So stay tuned for that. Grab your paper, your pencils, your erasers. And let's go. This is the one I did with you guys. I ended up, as I said later, I'd probably color it, so I did. I made her look like she was dressed up in my Sam I Am art picture that I have on my. Um, you can see it there in the bottom corner. It says it's right, it's on the page on Sam I Am art. So I dressed her up a bit like that little octoling. And these are Miss Rainbow's collection in Kundra and Octoyi. 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 Octoyi and Inkandra. And Osmar the puppy. Osmar the puppy and, and Azzy the, the kitten. kitten. And then we have the mom and son team doing their own inklings. I think you guys, if you didn't join us five, mm. I think you guys joined us afterwards. So that was kind of cool. I love this uh, squid coming out of the gun there. And we got these ones. I am, um, speaking of. Hey. We've got M's three amazing characters and clearly she's put a lot of thought into these because there's everything from what species they are and their default ink color. And I just love it. There and uh, Miss Rainbow's here was, was pretty impressed too with all the detail you put in to um, to writing up some of those cool character details. Whoops, that's my blank page. Today we're gonna draw this dude. He's so cute. <laughs> It's a little elephant. It's a baby elephant. Yeah. Aww, he's a cutie. He's a cutie, eh? Yeah. Um, hopefully everything's working, because again, as I said, I, I've redone my computer, and I don't know if I've hooked everything back up, so if you guys can hear us, give us a little thumbs up, or uh, let us know in the comments, and uh, hopefully we're good to go. So let's get get the rainbows on here before she spins away on this chair. <laughs> Whoa, there we are. Hello. Hi, everybody. This okay. is going to be my picture. Yeah. It's going to be a girl taking care of a mummy and a baby elephant. It's going to be a mummy and a baby elephant, and they're going to be taken care of by a little girl or a big girl. Yeah, it's a little girl taking care of a baby elephant and her mommy. Cool. All right. So I hope everybody's got their stuff together today for Elephant Appreciation Week. I'm going to do a little elephant. Uh, teach you guys how to do this little guy. I have to remind myself of what exactly is going on here. <laughs> there we go. So this one is going to be very simple. Uh, very uh, similar to a lot of other animal uh, creations that we've done in the past. Um, we'll start off with our usual circle and oval or circle and uh, circle combination if you'd like. For some reason I have my opacity turned down to 35 because I was painting something earlier. So it came across as gray. That's good because it's an elephant. I suppose. I suppose that's true. 
and then we want to put the body next to it. In this case, you don't want to go too much bigger because we're going. Um, this is my mommy. We're doing baby. Oh, there you go. There's the mummy and the baby. Yeah, and the elephants have got an interesting. Yeah, start go sit, just go go with the flow. That's usually ends up what I end, what I do for many of my creations. Sometimes it works really well. Sometimes I need to go back to my sketchbook. <laughs> That's the beauty of, of art, right? Sometimes you get inspired just by doing. So once you got your snowman on its side, <laughs> you can decide which way the trunk goes. The trunk can be curved up like this little guy. Or you just have it hanging down, or it's curled around something. So maybe I'm going to make this little fellow into a painting elephant. Let's uh, make it a painting elephant. So I'm going to decide, because I'm going to do this, that there's going to be a brush about here. So this is going to be a neat, neat challenge. I, I have would some decide. trivia. Ready for some trivia? Kind of like a hand holding an item, I decide how many wraps around the item that this would do. And then I might just do, whoop, there's the edge of the trunk. And you might get, whoops, there, sorry. It might not have worked out as well as I want. Let's just make it one wrap around. One big wrap around. What this little dude is holding something in this trunk. Why not? It's going to look a little interesting. And he's got a little paintbrush today. Mm -hmm. That way, you know, I didn't just copy the little guy I have on the demo. I have some trivia. You got some trivia. You want to start right into the trivia. She wants to go what right for the trivia. What feature okay, of an elephant can help you identify its species? Mm, what feature of an elephant can help you identify its species. I'll give you a hint. There are three official species of elephant. Three. Although one of those species looks very similar to the other, so you're kind of guessing between two. Once you get the uh, trunk in where you want, don't, don't worry about overlapping just a little bit like that. You can get, because the trunk is, by the way, the upper lip as well as the nose of the mouth, of the whole um, elephant's face. So it's nose and upper lip. You know, this guy is super duper happy. We're going to find out a fact that maybe this is not the best. This is me in my imagination and the elephant is happy doing this because uh, we got a guess of ears. Oh, I didn't say the options did I? <laughs> yeah. The options it are is one of the options. A, it's ears, B, it's size, and C, it's color. So, yes, ears so are it's options. ears, it's size, and it's colors. And ears is a really good guess, Em. In fact. <laughs> In fact, In the fact. answer is. So good. A, it it's really is ears. ears. So next there one. are three oh. species of elephant. African, African forest, and Asian elephant. There you go. African elephants have large ears and are roughly the shape, shape like the continent of Africa. That's true. Uh, Asian elephants are smaller and have uh, ears are smaller and have shaped like the country India. Yeah. So the well, African yeah. forest elephants are harder to pick out from their close cousins, but their ears are just a bit rounder in shape. Very true. Because they don't want to get their ears stuck on the trees. That's right. They don't. Well, yeah. And what's funny is that Asian elephants are mostly found in India. So it's kind of cool that their ears match. <laughs> match where they're, they're sort of where they live. So in the next little step I did was to add a little tiny beak or triangle with the bottom curve. The tail. And I'm going to take a straight line down the back. Straight line here. The curve. There. There's a heavy tail. Like that. I'm, I'm not up to date because I was reading the trivia. Oh, fine. I need to slow down. So I'm going to do two. I'm on the mouth and I'm not doing my tails. No, you're doing two elephants. So 
So we're going to do four straight lines down, and we're going to connect each set with a round bottom. And then you can erase any overlap that you have. I may have made my little elephant tall. <laughs> it's okay. My little elephant is very happy and he's jumping because it is his friend and his mom. So once you have your, your two legs that are on the front that are facing you, done with two straight lines, you do another straight line in the back and a little curve to connect. Don't have to erase anything here because it's in the background to give it that 3D look. The same thing here, you just want to do another straight line in the front and curve. And what you want to do to give it that 3D effect is you want the little bottom part of the feet to be slightly above the bottom feet that are at closest to you. That will give that perspective <laughs> feel. Um, how tall can elephants grow? That's a good question. A. 5 meters. B. 3 meters. Or C. 2 meters. How tall can an elephant grow? Hmm. Five meters, three meters, or two meters. Elephants are pretty big. These facts, by the way, are all courtesy of National Geographic Kids, which is where we like to get a lot of our information, especially yeah. about wildlife. Yeah. So what I've done to the bottom of them, because sometimes you can see little elephants' fingernails or foot nails, and I did little arches, the little bumpy arches. You can make those close together like I've done like that, or you could even do them like three? this. We have three. We have three. Oh. Mm -hmm. M, do you know your elephants or what? Because that's the answer. Elephants can grow between 2.7 and 3 meters tall. That's true. The African elephants but, are taller. But they can weigh between 3,000 and hmm. 7 or and 7,500 kilograms. So. That's huge. They're wow. big. They're big. They're so gentle. They're gentle giants. And they're gentle giants. So now that I've got the basis, now we've got the basis of a elephant, we have to decide. I'm going to do this in a separate layer. They're going to be a little African forest guys. Okay. Do you got to decide what kind of elephant uh, ear you want to do? Do you want to make them an African elephant or do you want to make them um, African forest elephants, as Sophia has decided to do? Or would you like to make them Asian elephants? And I'm not going to really draw it like the continent or draw it like the country as, uh, as they actually are because it's a cartoon. But one of the things that you can do is decide how big the ears are, like Dumbo from Disney, or uh, if you want them a little bit smaller. So if you're going to do an Asian elephant, you want to draw... Why are elephants in, the trouble, in trouble and on the endangered list? A. Humans hunt them for their ivory tusks and for sports. B. They've destroyed property slash come in conflict with towns and communities. C. They are used as tourist attractions and often mistreated. And D. All of the above. So if you guys got that, why are elephants in danger or on the in, in trouble or on the endangered list? Lots of reasons. They're hunted for their ivory. They're hunted for sport. B. They're uh, uh, they they're disrupt the communities. They can destroy property and communities. C. Because they're so big. That's true. They're big elephants. Or C. Big they're big exploited often for tourist attractions. Or D. All of the above. So if you want to do a little Asian uh, elephant, you'd sort of do. Straight line, round, yeah, round curve. I might have done that a little bit too high, actually, now that I'm thinking of it. Yes, I have. So, hold on. <laughs> you want to do a little round curve. You don't want to go too far off of the head. Just a straight line, round curve, and then straight line. And you can sort of have a little jagged if you want, or not. And that would be your elephant ear. So it looks a little bit like a 
continent, or not continent, the yeah. country. So that's a small Asian elephant here. You put a little line in there to sort of show the part, the cartilage, where the ear attaches to the body. And then you can erase. Well, I'm going to erase this anyway from a big view. You can erase any overlap there. And that would be a little little Asian elephant ear. If you want to do something that is a bigger ear, like an African elephant or an African forest elephant, you would do a straight line up, just like that other guy. I'm imagining this guy is sort of waving his ears around a bit, and then you do a J. I kind of like the letter J and it make it really big and it overlaps a lot of things. This and little guy has, he, he, he and his mom have really curvy short ears. Yeah, well if you want to make them a little bit more like the African Ooh. elephant, absolutely am all of the above. It's true for the trivia question. Do you want to read the answer? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sad, D. Sadly, human activity is the biggest threat to the most legit creatures. Elephants are hunted for their ivory, often roam through and damage farmland, and can be kept in poor conditions to give tourists a ride or paint them a picture. Yep. D so or maybe this is bad that I got my little elephant dude with a paintbrush, but maybe he really likes it because he's a cartoon elephant. Or maybe he really likes it because he's being treated good. Maybe he's treated well. Yeah, hopefully he's treated well and treated kindly. <laughs> But, um, so yeah, I've done the sort of rounder thing. You could even go one more step crazy. You could just do a big C shape if you want to do that for your elephant, which I think is what Sophia's doing for her I elephant. did, I did a, I kind of did, um... A smaller C shape? A upside down U shape. Okay. For my elephants. Oh, I like your elephants. So I'm going to do more of this rounded for fun because that's uh, there's many ways that you can sort of get the idea of the big ear and um, sort of see how you're you're uh, doing things like I'm I'm making it almost like an ear like a human ear, which elephant ears are not <laughs> at all like they're used for waving away um, pests so bugs or flies that get in their way to keep them cool when they're traveling and uh, to even signal to each other uh, and communicate with each other. So that's kind of cool. So I'm just going to use this which is sort of very anthropomorphic of me, very uh, creating him like almost a human. And you can just put a big old eye right there. I do a circle. And I'm going to make them like that. If you're doing a bigger ear and you want to show the other side of an ear like that, you can do it too. So just imitate the top part of the ear and, we're, and then make it disappear behind the other. And that gives that 3D image again too. And then they always have little tassels. So you can do a little paintbrush shape, a little leaf shape on the bottom, or you can do it like this if you want. And the tail. And you got an elephant. That was pretty easy. Yeah. I'm going to do this and merge those down. Lock it in. Other things you can add to your elephant too, because elephants are big and wrinkly normally, and even if they're babies, they have lots and lots of wrinkles on them, on their skin. So you can sort of start adding little... Uh, Wrinkle lines on the nose and the trunk especially, I find are good places. And that can also help me sell that wrap around a little bit better. Just follow it like that. <laughs> you know what, I was worried mine had, mine's legs were a little bit too long. Uh, and that's okay though. You might as well go with it, right? That could be something interesting. Go with the flow. Maybe it's like standing on its tiptoes. Could be kind of cool. Yeah. Now I don't want to draw one standing on a I'm going to go back and draw a one that I tip -toe. So I've got a super duper cute guy. I'm going to give him a little bit of um, a shy expression. Maybe he's feeling a little shy today. 
And again, you can sort of change the expression of what your elephant is, whether they're happy or sad, kind of like we did with many of our other characters. Just by changing eye shape. Like you learned with ghosts, you can sort of have the angry elephant. You can have an angry elephant. Maybe this elephant doesn't want to paint. <laughs> or a surprised elephant, which is just baby eye extra big. I'm just going to make this guy just a little... It's a happier. Call it happy and a little bit. Hi, look at my stuff. Me as an artist. Hey, do you like my stuff? Okay, I'm not quite like that. I used to be. I used to be very shy about showing my artwork. Yeah, and then leaving me time to do some coloring and answer some questions. I think this guy is going to be painting. On the ground. a bit like an elephant. <laughs> By the time I'm done, we'll see. We'll see. So I think we're all out of trivia now, right? Yeah. This guy, this little elephant, is playing along with us today and drawing the kids. Why not? Because this is Imagination Station. And we like to just be silly crazy too. By the way, if you need a quick tip on how to make grass, I, I know how to make a tiny patch of grass. If you take your pencil, draw a tiny straight line out of the ground. Mm. We have a good question about tusks. How would you draw tusks? So if I were to put tusks then on this little fellow. Coming out of both, both sides of the line. Yep. And so you make grass. that's how you make grass is you do curves like that. I think that's a good, good grass that you've and done there. And the more grass that you want in the little pile, mm -hmm. the more curves you put out of it. Oh, okay. I'll show the tusks here. And actually, cool fact about elephants: yeah. Asian elephants only the males have tusks, but African elephants, all adult elephants have tusks. And another cool fact is that elephants are actually slowly evolving to lose their tusks because uh, nature because nature knows that the elephants with their tusks as a protect, protective yeah are getting hunted because that people want their tusks yep um, but They're the ones with little tusks aren't so nature knows and makes it that they're evolving to not have tusks. So what you do for the tusks uh, is you would follow along uh, the line that you've created for the upper lip and do sort of a little bit of a square. That's where the skin is going to be. That's going to overlap or where the tusk goes into the elephant's face. And then you could do this a couple of ways because some tusks are more curved than others. In this case, this little baby guy might not have a very big tusk. You might just have a straight line out and then a curved line down. If you want to go bigger, um, you have that house again. I for some reason erase the house. Think about where you want to go with it. I'd put a point. Mm, let's make um like out to here. I put a point to where I wanted to reach with the tusk, draw my first line back to where I've got the house, and then draw another curved line back to, to that. It's almost I've almost created a tangent there because um I'm following right along the line of the, the trunk but you just sort of do that if you want to do something even crazier and you want to have like curved tusks like a mammoth like a woolly mammoth had the big curved tusks um, put your point where you want to end and then curl it back in a C and then you can sort of have those big curly tusks and when you're thinking again about three dimensionality for it. If you want to make it 3D and have that tusk curve up on the other side, think about how 
the feet here are slightly in front and back a bit. So this curved tusk would probably appear, I, I have a thing in the middle, but would appear in front slightly and to the side like that because everything's you're just sort of seeing it a little bit from that angle so you'd see the tusk just coming over that side. You look for the hints of what you've got in your picture to help you keep everything on the same plane for your 3D. So that would be how you draw the tusks. You can kind of either use your C shapes to make curved tusks. You can even go crazier. You could even bring them in like that if you were going for that woolly mammoth look. But, um, or you can go, oh, cool. Or you can go for something that's uh, a little more straight on it. This little guy, if he did have his tusks starting to grow, would probably have something small and short like that, if, if I wanted to put that. But I think I'm going to just go with a little baby elephant that doesn't have tusks at the moment. I can't wait to see, actually, Em. Let's see what your uh, realism elephant is. This is my Would elephant you like to show? picture. Oh my gosh, they even have names. <laughs> Emmy, Seely, and Maya. Emmy, Seely, and Maya. Very Emmy's cool. Emmy's the mummy elephant. Seely's the baby elephant, and Maya's the little baby girl. Hey, and look, Emmy's got super long legs, too. I think that's cool. Emmy's got tiny, tiny, tiny tusks, and Seely doesn't have tusks. Oh, cool. You're trying to decide how big you're making those tusks. Eh? I can see you've sort of been trying a few things. Yeah. Cool. All right, well, I'm going to put some color onto this. Keep your questions coming if you've got any. I can't wait to see what it's going to look like. This is my picture. Oh, and I have the sun on the top. And you have the sun on the top. Nice. You do have the sun. It is a happy sun. I like, I like seeing your happy sun. Ooh. References are always good because if you've sort of taken a look at them um, and look at them from the perspective of what big shapes you see first and then you can start fleshing out the big shapes this is why, how i do all of our, our uh, art jams in every session we do and then flesh out the details as you go along because sometimes if you go right for drawing the elephant as you see it or the reference as you see it things get distorted tree. really really quickly so start with big familiar shapes Use your eraser or lighter lines and then just sort of build on it, which is what I love to do with references. I use references all the time. And, um... I, I sometimes feel like... I'm making a palm tree, but I sometimes feel like I'm better at making Minecraft palm trees than I am in drawing. Because I know how to make a Minecraft palm Do you know how to make Minecraft palm tree? I know you do. I have two ways to make a Minecraft palm tree. Actually, in order to do any of these uh, Draw With Me Kids, I try and find a uh, reference of what a real elephant looks like and how do I make it into familiar shapes that can be cartoonized. And accentuated. So when you're doing a cartoon, sometimes it's the big trunk, sometimes it's the big ears, something that's recognizable. I wish I had remembered to put um, to put an example in for everybody of what um, medieval artists. Because I thought it was hilarious. What medieval artists thought elephants looked like based off of stories of people coming back from whatever adventure they were going on and telling these tales of seeing these giant creatures and what they were like and there's some pictures where they look like uh, or some that cats they... or lions or big long super noses or um, 
all kinds of crazy things like that, actually. So. Yeah, I think there was really one funny that was like. Wait, that's a pink. It was a funny one. Where it was um, really it was a picture of an elephant. Like people were riding this creature, except uh, it looked like sort of like a rhino mixed with like a cat and sort of like a lizard and it was really weird yeah really weird and funny i don't know why i decided to pink pink elephant so see i'm totally not going for realism right yeah now. you probably probably because i have a pink elephant stuffy ellie oh you do have a pink elephant stuffy <laughs> named ellie and also because i still have fond memories of the very very scary sequence at least i thought it was when i was a kid and now that I'm an adult, it's not so scary, is the Pink Elephants on Parade uh, dream uh, sequence that Dumbo has after, I believe, drinking something he shouldn't have drunk. <laughs> I think the suggestion is he may have had something that had alcohol or something in it that was a little too strong for his own good. That whole movie now... <laughs> such a it's such a cute tale such a good movie but there's so many interesting things that we would not consider uh good to watch i like his painting you like his painting yeah i like his painting cool i'm done my picture well we have hit the half hour mark and i know we're trying to do things a little bit shorter so that my best buddy here doesn't get super tired after a very long day at school. I go from 825 mm -hmm. all the way to 250 at school and I have to wear a mask like two thirds of all of that time. What's it like? It's so weird, crazy, it's hot because of my mask. Is it fun to see your friends again? Yes. And your teachers? You missed your teachers, didn't you? I did. Yes. That was a pretty good elephant. So, thanks for being all ears. I got one in. Yes. And we'll see you guys next week for some pumpkins that are going to be related to Thanksgiving-ish and fall, which we can turn into some jack-o'-lanterns. There's going to be a truncade of pictures. A truncade of pictures. Okay, I'll give it. I'll allow it. So thanks again, guys. Remember, stay you safe. Pun tip. I love. I have. I I have a pun time when I pun. So uh, stay safe. We'll see you guys next week at four o'clock at our new time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hearts for the elephants. They're going to survive. Hearts for the elephants. They're going to survive.